Whenever you have a web service, you want to be able to modify the data on the web service or read the data or create data or delete data. Now, we refer to this as CRUD or CRUD, which stands for create, read, update, delete. And if you think about it, most of the times, or if not all the time, whenever you're using certain applications, you're usually doing one of those operations. So if we take a quick Facebook example, right? So let's say you're on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, and you're just scrolling, you're just looking at what people are talking about, and you're just scrolling and scrolling, you're really reading data. So you're doing the R here in this uh, acronym. Now, if you want to make a post, or you're going to make a comment on something, or you're going to send a message to one of your friends, then you're creating data. So in this acronym, you're doing the C, which is like create data. And if you made a post, then you realize you made a mistake, or you have a typo, then you go in and click on edit and then to edit the data, then you're doing the U in here, which is the update the data. And if you don't like the post, you wanna post something else or you didn't mean to post it and you delete it, then you're deleting the data. And if you think about it, really, most of the times when you're interacting with an application, you're doing one or many of those four operations. So the C is for create, the R is for read or to get data, and then we have the U for update and then the D for delete. And you cannot see how this is going to connect with HTTP to create this entire web service architecture that we're talking about. So the C is for create. And whenever you need to create data on the server, you're going to send a post request. So they associate the create data or create resource on the server with a post request. So the server or the RESTful API or the RESTful web service, they're able to understand that when you try to communicate with them using the HTTP protocol and you send the POST method with the HTTP protocol, then they understand that your intention is to create resource on that specific server. And the same goes for read. So for reading data, you send a GET request. So you're getting information or you're getting resource. So when you send the get request, the server understands or the web service understands that you're trying to read data. You're not trying to create or update data or delete data. And then for update, you send a put or a patch request. And I'm going to talk about the difference between put and patch later. When you need to update data on the server, you send a put or a patch request. And then the server is able to understand that you're trying to update the data. And then to delete the data, you send a delete request, which is a valid HTTP method or HTTP verb. So you would send an HTTP delete request and the server will be able to understand that you're trying to delete a resource on the server. So you can see how with RESTful web service and CRUD operations, we can connect that with HTTP so that we can communicate with the server in a way that the server understands.